After the case is over, sometimes the physician will walk out and he won't click the finish button on the controller. It's right here. If that's the case, we'll just click finish, continue. You want to go to disassembly. And now you can see the disassembly will show up on the screen. Just like the startup where we went from bottom to top, now we're going to go in reverse, top to bottom. Everything in disassembly is either a push or pull, uh, a push or twist and pull. So for the vision probe, you'll see this fin. I'm going to push it and just pull it out. This gray button here, push, pull it out. I want to unscrew the adapter that I had put on before. This get tossed. This is going to be reprocessed um, with purple wipes. You'll see the lives actually on the right side of the screen here. Those for demo purposes are rather large. Yours will be singular numbers. When an item is expired, that number will be an orange circle and says EXP. If it is expired, let's make sure to tag it that it's expired so we let everybody know and we keep the PAR levels the same. So now we're on to step two to remove the catheter. These gray buttons on the catheter on the sides right here, we're going to press both of them. It's going to pop out and we're just going to pull it out like that. Then our last step to remove the catheter guide, these white buttons will push and we'll pull. Now we're going to clean the entire robot with purple wipes as I said before. The vision probe is clean with purple wipes. This is the central sterilized so you can clean it, you can just spray some pre-cleanse spray on it. The robot can be cleaned with purple wipes, including the screen. You're going to want to avoid these gold pins on the top and bottom, these black areas. You can really avoid, just clean everything that's white. You can also remove the scroll wheel, like that, clean it and clean the basin. And you can remove the ball with the magnet attached to the controller right here. It comes up like that. Once you're done cleaning everything, you'll swipe, finish cleaning. And if the case is now done, you can click auto stow. If there's a new case, you can click start new procedure. We'll click auto stow and pretend there's no longer a case. And now it's going to put the arm to where it wants to be at rest for when you turn the machine off. The last three steps, position the arm over the cart. This is important because once the machine is turned off, the robot is turned off, the arm can't be moved and we want to keep it over the top of the cart for safety purposes during transportation. Now that the, the arm is over the cart, we can close the monitors as well and we can position these two over the cart. The final step is to hold this for five sounds until it turns off. You'll hear the fifth sound is high pitched. Now it'll blink yellow, which means that it's powering down. And once it turns white, we know that it is turned off and plugged in. At that point, once it turns white, you can disconnect the controller on the bottom right, right here, and you can transport it as needed to its resting destination. Remember to keep it plugged in at all times when not in use as well.